Well, if it's working, let's keep it going. Tier 9 for ranked. Striker, are you in gold? I see somebody's taking my advice on Moss. I should I should consider playing Indy. You meant to say 8. Well, 8 means you're in 8 means you're in you're in gold. Silver is 10 and 11 and gold is 8 and 9. All right. Let's keep the HE loaded. I'll keep the HE loaded. We have a spotting advantage. We sort of don't. No, we sort of don't. Oh, he meant to say Ashitaka. Ashitaka is a seven. Yes. Ashitaka is the old A-Hall Amagi, right? Indy is a good boat now. She certainly didn't used to be, but she is at present. All right, destroyers. I need one of you to have the balls to go to B. No, no, don't do that. Okay, good. You both have balls. You'll you'll keep those balls longer if you support each other in the middle of the cap with that Moss Hydro. Moss's Hydro, I think, is five kilometers. Which radar, D DR? Abruzzi can do well in this format. Um, she has a lot of tools at her disposal. The struggle with Abruzzi is the HE doesn't hit that hard. So when you do have something under your guns, like an opposing destroyer... You can, get, you can get hits on it, but they don't feel as impactful as they do in a boat like this. If I can land anywhere from four to six shells out of my ten on an opposing destroyer, he'll feel it. He will 100% feel it. Oh, Indy, yes. Indy with the 10-kilometer radar is very relevant. Let's see if this boy's he's going to run into me or not. Nope, he's going to pull up alongside. Now, what I don't like about him being there is it means I can't maneuver. However, it looks like he's going to slow down, and that's fine. Somehow I dropped the whole thing short. All right, Moss. I don't know how you're lit in there, but you need to do something about it. What in the hell is this? If I die because you clowns won't let me maneuver, I'm going to be very, very upset. Okay. I would love it. Look at this. Guys, they've left the Indianapolis to die. Oh, this is going to be amazing. This is going to be amazing. This is a huge misplay on this team's part. Holy crap. I cannot believe they did this. I cannot believe the entire team has done this. What a mistake. <laughs> let's go, little Akatsuki. You and me, let's go.
wrecked. Who's next? Looks like you're coming apart at the seams. They left the, the Indianapolis to die. Well, there went your torpedo tubes. Have fun with that. Much better. And now you can't even spot me. I can't believe they did this. This is so wild. We're gonna finish the cap first since the idiot since the idiot Moss got himself killed. We're gonna sit here. We are not gonna do anything. We're gonna chill. Once we punch once once the Indianapolis goes out, there he goes. Their entire back flank is wide open. They have no, they have absolutely nothing now. I can push this bliss for days. This is such an unbelievable, bizarre train wreck of a disaster. They own no real estate. They're not near any caps. We're tied on ships, and I'm about to go cap C, and they pretty much can't stop me. Goodbye, little bliss. And that's why you take Miyoko, because once the destroyers get in range, they are dead. And it's hilarious. Wow, I, I cannot believe they screwed this up this badly. This is wild. I've never seen a team do this. I've been playing this game a long time. I have never seen a team do what these guys did. Because it almost invariably results in this, right? They If they had left a battleship behind um, with that Indianapolis, this would have been a completely different game. But literally every battleship went through the gap. Even the slow-ass Nelson... Which is a terrible idea. I don't know what you're doing out there. I'm going to end up in a heavy cruiser. I'm going to end up with two full caps and a partial. This Nelson's about to get citadeled into oblivion. Oh, how did he miss that, West Virginia? going to slow down right behind this island and give ourselves a little bit of a little bit of room here to play. Yes, exactly. Why is the heavy cruiser capping? That is a very valid question. Let's go, Nelson. Come on out in front of my torpedoes. They're waiting for you. Let's 
fine. <laughs> Good evening, Malarkey. How you doing? Where's the hammer when you need one? You're good, boys. Yeah, I gotta get back in I gotta get back in the game. Hakuning your tatas, okay? Weavy's out of heels. You can't count on him for squat. Okay, there we go. Weavy got the set. Weavy got the reset. My shells are just shotgunned all over the place. Says, you died. He turned in. Those should all miss. Well, I got one reset. Go me, I suppose. He's still maneuvering back there. You're done. The fire alone will kill you. All I have to do is show you my bow and wait for you to die. <clears throat> nah, there's no point in even loading AP. He's so low, the AP doesn't do me anything. But the, once I get him on fire, he's dead. It's simply a question of, of how long it takes me to kill him and can he punch me. He can't overmatch my bow. Right? That's the nice thing about an engagement with a Sharn horse like that. I show him my bow. I have to weather his secondaries, but I still have 28,000 hit points or something silly. His secondaries are not going to burn me down in the time it takes my fires, fires to kill him. Our destroyers were not very good that game. Our Weavy was absolutely the hero. Um, these guys kept running out in front of a radar cruiser and then wondering why they were dead. Like... And there was a place in the cap, there's a place in the cap on that map that you can play where the radar doesn't do you any good. Like, especially from his position, I, I legit don't understand. I don't understand, right? Like, hang on a minute. Let me finish, let me finish up. I don't have a ton of damage, but I've got some cleanup kills, which I'm not, I'm, I'm happy with. Let me, so let me show you what I'm talking about here. I should try. I should try mode shuffle at some point. I need. I need. Where's training room? There we go. I was like, where's training room? That was straight. All right, look at this. Now, these cap locations are not exact. This cap is farther north and this cap is farther south, but it's close enough for what we're doing. The center cap is basically the same. 
The Indianapolis is set up like right here, and he has to play fairly far back, especially initially because there's battleships and stuff lurking up here. He sticks his nose out too far, you're hosed. If you play a destroyer in this edge of the cap, okay, you can get radared, but then they have nothing, right? You just sit on this edge of the cap, he radars you, he might get a shot, the Bliss will probably get some shots, and then you're like, okay, let's go be somewhere else. And then you come back and you sit out here while his radar is down. So it's it's not it's not hard to do. It just requires you to read the map, which is a skill that so few players have. If you don't know where he is, it's one thing. But once you know where the radar cruiser is, it's so easy in that where he was positioned to be like, I'll just go be somewhere else. 